He also hit all of his land drops. What can you do? <sighs> Opponent goes first. We have a Sailor with plating on turn two. Really want a growth spiral. I need a green source here. Also, type plating looked good though. Definitely looked good. Demir. So we lose. I lose the discard spells really hard. We also didn't hit our land, so we're we're just fucked. Sultai, even worse. Well, he's not dispute, which is good. This would be a good time for him to play a discard spell, because I can block it. Lazotep plating is really good, dude. I really like this. This was a good choice. I think we're gonna hold it though. I'd rather save it for an important turn. I mean, we could play Lotus Field, but I really don't want to. So we're just gonna get in there. This is a Sultai bounce deck. So he's got Yurok. I hate this deck too. Thassa agent is just obnoxious. Does this get permanent side control? No, that'd be in the graveyard. It wouldn't fizzle the uh, thing. Alright, what you got? Atris? Polychronos? Ventris Garbo. Wombo Garbo. I'm just going to keep holding on to the thing. Yeah. I don't think my opponent's going to get... I don't know if my opponent can get me to uh, lose six cards this turn. He needs seven cards in my graveyard for it to attack, so I don't mind attacking. Thoughts of those. Sketch. Thoughts is very scary. Probably wants to block. Really wish I could cast my favor elder here, dude. Can't justify playing Lotus Field still. Really would have liked that land. Sure. Still fine. He's a reanimator deck, which wasn't surprising, but we lost one of our payoff spells. He has trade he has Agent of Treachery in the graveyard, which is bad because it means he can get it out now. Um You know, I still want to... I want to... I definitely want to have protection from when he gets his agent down. I think this is the only time I... Well, no, I can't even get my Lotus Field down here still. This really fucking sucks. Because now he can, uh... He can attack. So my Sahili's fucked. This is what I'm talking about earlier, too, with the Lotus Fields fucking me. Because I also have to discard. The fact that I have to discard just makes it so you can attack. This Lotus Field just destroying me. If he exiles cards from my graveyard, I'm safe. He chose none. Why not choose your own, dude? Choose like a Tonebound Lich and a Gargoyle. Get two life. Right, he's going for Thassa. No deal. No big deal. He's going to attack now. He's reading text. Yeah, go for it. Get in there, big boy. Oh, yeah. No blocks. 
I have no Sahili, so we're fine. Whew. I'm really regretting not having Ashiok now. Ashiok would destroy this guy's deck. Gotta keep the plating, though. Okay. Next turn, I can play Lotus Field for sure. Because I can sack these two. I'm not going to play Sahili. We're not going to attack. This laser tip plating is going to be huge against my opponent. Uh, all I need right now, all I literally need right now, is two turns. I can get Fabro Gauntlets of Light down, presumably on the same turn, sometime soon. It's going to be very tricky. But depending on when he does his shenanigans, when he pulls the trigger on Agent of Treachery, we can pull some good stuff. The only thing I need him to not do is use Connive. Connive would be bad. You got it, dude. You deal five. I have lethal, lethal the moment I get a draw or I don't even need a draw spell. I just straight up have lethal once I get these three permanents onto the battlefield. Straight up lethal. Opponent's going to have Agent Mana next turn, but I'm going to have Lazotep Plating. I'm going to have to make sure I have Lazotep Plating up. So the best card in my deck right now would be a White Source. Any untapped White Source. Do I have a Planes? <laughs> oh, that hurts. That really hurts. I have one Planes in the deck, so that won't do. We're definitely casting this. And then we're definitely doing this. And Sahili won't do anything for me, so unfortunately I can't do that. He's just going to kill it, and I need my Spectral Sailor for a draw. Alright, this is the big turn. This is the turn he casts Connive, Concoct. And then reanimates his uh, Agent of Treachery, which I want him to do. I'd love for him to waste 7 mana to cast an Agent of Treachery this turn. Mm -hmm. Pass. No blocks. Take 6. I don't think I'm going to get one more turn off. He's got a lot of damage on board. I theoretically have lethal in 2 turns. It's just going to be really hard. This this Lazotep plating is going to be the, the difference between winning and losing the next game. Or this game. This Lazotep plating is being very carefully placed for lethal. Actually, I think I just straight up have lethal. Let me count. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got to tap this for white. Green. I have one mana left over. I can't haste it though. I need haste, so I need to untap with Fabro still. I do not have lethal this next turn, but I would tap this for white and I'd be able to do a lot of really strong stuff. Now the reason I'd want to know whether or not I should use Lazotape Plating this turn is if I could have Fabro Elder instantly untap. Krasis is a good start. Krasis is a good start. Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't play these Gauntlets of Light this turn, but I definitely have Lethal next turn. I really want to play Gauntlets of Light this turn, but I can't. Gotta have Lazatep plating next turn for the... No attacks. End turn. Alright, hopefully my opponent wastes 7 mana to cast a what's a who's it because I guaranteed have lethal next turn if he uh, if he casts an agent this turn guaranteed lethal he also has to not remove any of my creatures <laughs> which seems unlikely but I mean his removal is playing a seven mana card that steals permanence 
All right, he's surveilling. Or is he just casting Earl Raw? I don't mind if you just cast Earl Raw. I'll take that. Yeah. Resolves. Resolves. Land on the battlefield. Resolve. Yeah, no, I just I straight up have lethal next turn. It's crazy. This guy's like going to be really upset too. Also depends on when he untaps. Also order. Ooh, six. That's big. Alright, well. I can get Saheli in play, so. I don't care about Sailor. So, I can block one. Um... Honestly, I don't want to... He's tapped out anyway. Let's let's just go it. Let's go for it. We amass one before blocks, and then we just jump here. Really wish I could save that uh, Lazotep plating for like my turn, so that he can't do any interaction on my turn. We'll see what he does here. Oh, good. He untaps a. Uh, <laughs> he untaps Thassa. Yikes. My opponent's gonna be so sad next turn. My opponent did so well. Alright, so. We'll definitely tap you for 5 mana. Or for 3 white. Boop. We definitely tap you. GG. Oh, my, my opponent's gonna have priority for like hours, dude. My opponent's so salty. Sure, let's draw a card. Dude, that Lazotep plating actually saved me. Draw card. I can't go infinite until he's, he stops holding priority, so I'm just going to keep drawing until he concedes. I thought he dropped priority for a second there, but he didn't. He's just looking at me like, what the fuck do I do? Alright, this is an easy untap. Oh! Oh, what? Oops. Alright, well, that was a mistake. Thankfully, I don't get punished for it. If I misclick one time, I actually lose the game right here, so I gotta not make that mistake again. Untap a creature. Try a card. I'm just gonna time my opponent out if he doesn't, like, remove priority. He can't do anything in response to anything I do, because I can always just activate in response. He needs two permanents, two spells to be able to make me not have interaction here. He's literally just going to time out. It's hilarious. Draw card. That's a Teferi. I'll, uh... There's nothing I can really bounce with Teferi to, like, make him lose priority. It's the Fabled Passage. 
so there's no reason. Plus, I actually I need a white source before I can cast a fairy. If I waste my white source, I can't untap Favoril Elder. Okay. Keep going. Can't believe my, my opponent's really salty, dude. I can feel it. A two mana card won this game. My opponent needs to crack his passage if he wants to stop holding priority. <sighs> Draw a card. I have a win con. Actually, he might have milled my win cons. I'll have to check in a sec. We'll check after this one. Because he might have milled my win con. If I don't have a Samut. Okay, there we go. That's our win con. Expansion explosion for a million damage. So now we can just go fast. Alright, if he has Mystical Dispute, he's a god gamer. But we finally have our win con. We can go over the top from here. My opponent needs to drop priority, dude. Crack your passage. This guy needs to stop baiting me, dude. My rhythm is thrown off when he, he gets priority back. Alright, we're up to 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23, 32, 33, okay, 27, woo, Lasso tap plating! <laughs>